this really has to be one of my most requested videos the ability to use your own personal photos your own personal videos as a screensaver on the fire stick or your android tv device so that video we can see in the background is running from a usb drive we can also see a small weather widget on the bottom right if i press right on the remote we can see it then cycles to a personal photo which is just some wallpaper and that's now cycling to the next photo so in this video today let me show you how you can use your personal photos on a usb drive or on internal storage as a screensaver on all of your devices so please do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started if you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so to start this process make sure you've enabled the installation from unknown sources open up downloader make a connection to my website which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402 type that in and click on go now when you get to my website if you head over to the hamburger menu which is one of the three lines you can click on that click on tutorials now near the top of the list you'll see a tutorial for the screensaver manager now I previously created a tutorial for this when I was showcasing the aerial view screensavers so what I've done is I've updated that tutorial and added in the new links let's scroll down and fairly near the top we should see the ultimate fire stick and android tv screensaver so this is the one that you want let's now click on that scroll down now for this process you need to have two files the first one is the tduk screensaver manager and this is the application that basically allows you to change your screensaver on your fire stick or any amazon device onto a custom screensaver that's the first file that you need and the second file is really any other custom screensaver that you want so let's scroll down we can see those files so the first one is the tduk screensaver manager so install that first onto any amazon device and then here we have a bunch of those custom screensavers this is the aerial views and this is the latest one which has all of those apple tv 4k screensavers really nice screensaver this is the older version and this one is just some static 4k pictures but as we're interested in personal photos photos or videos from a usb drive or internal storage or even anywhere on your network in your house we want the last one so let's install that first let's click on that scroll down and you want to click on the green download button now, this application has some free features but you can also pay for the premium one but as i'm only interested in the free version i'll only show you the stuff that you can do for free let's click on install that's now done i can click on done we can delete the installation file just to get that space back once you've done that let's go back and then install the tduk screensaver manager now i've already got that installed on my device so i don't need to do that but install both on your device then press the home key now before we open up the new applications just to show you that in my example i've got a standard usb drive formatted as fat32 and i've transferred some photos and also some video files onto that usb drive now if you use a free application like explore which is available both for the fire stick and the android tv devices here you can just see at the top here we have my pny usb drive if i click on that click on allow and here we can see i've got a folder called photos with some random wallpapers in there and i also have a folder called videos and this has some 4k videos i've downloaded just to show you that you can use any of your personal photos or personal videos on a usb drive or even if you've got them on your internal storage with this screensaver let's now press the home key and let's now start the photo gallery and screensaver for the first time now, all of the navigation i'm doing with the standard remote control so you don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle on this now the slight error that you see when it first starts i'm guessing because this is originally designed for android tv devices so certain services or certain processes they can't find is why you may get the error at the beginning but it does not stop or break any of the functionality so the application has a fairly busy layout we can see you can browse your albums at the top once you've actually configured them then you have the option to start your screensaver now all we can do in terms of starting is select the first option the other ones here 
if when you click on it is where it tells you to buy it so i'm going to ignore those options and just use the first one once we're ready to actually start the screensaver so the first thing you want to do is go down into settings and we're going to add in those photo sources so let's click on the first one now this actually supports the aerial videos as well but in this example i'm going to use something on my usb drive so now before i click on external drives because that's the usb drive we can see that the application does support pulling photos from other sources like Flickr, like Facebook, like The Guardian, like the NASA photo of the day, and then also the network. So if you have a NAS drive or any other network storage, you can actually use this to search that particular storage for photos and videos. And you also have local. So let's click on that. If you've already downloaded some personal photos onto your internal storage, maybe from the web you've downloaded something, you can use this option click on add a directory and then basically point wherever you've downloaded those photos. But again, in this example, I'm gonna press back because all I'm interested in is external storage because my content is on my USB drive. So let's go to the top and click on external drives. I can now turn this option on and we now have the option to say manage your content, which basically means where on your external drive are these photos or videos. So let's click on that. And I'm just gonna click on hide all and then say I'm only interested in the videos folder. Let's click on that. And I'm only interested in the photos folder. Let's click on that as well. Let's now press the back button. Similarly in the gallery, I'm gonna click on hide all first. And again, just choose the videos folder and also the photos folder. Let's press back. And uh, let's leave these options as uh, on. Uh, we're gonna include videos in the screensaver. Let's press back again. But you can see, guys, there are just so many customization options, so many things you can do to get this screensaver looking exactly how you like it. Let's press back again. Now, just to make things a little bit more interesting, so it's not just my you know boring photos, I'm also going to go down and let's select NASA, which is a NASA photo of the day. So let's click on that. And where it says photo a day, click on that as well. And let's turn that on. And we're going to click on sync now. So let's now go ahead and synchronize those libraries, those photo albums and video albums and bring all of that content down. Let's press back. Now one quick thing we can do here, if I go to the screensaver settings, we can say that we have random on because we don't want to choose the same one every time. Let's press back. And the same thing for gallery. And let's just say the delay between the photos is not 10 seconds. Let's just say it's five seconds. And here we can see where it says show information we do have the option to also show the weather. So I know lots of you are interested in your weather widget. So I can click on this, click on on, London. Okay, click on next. And let's leave that as default. Press back. Now, if you go to the top here, we now have those albums fully synchronized. So we've got my personal photos, those 10 wallpapers. We've got those three videos. And here we can see we've got 60 images from the NASA photo of the day. So all those albums are now ready. And for a super quick test, I can go here and click on uh, default, which is going to start the screensaver. Now in three seconds, we can see that automatically transitions to the next uh, photo. And there we can see one of my personal photos. So it will do a random selection and go through all of that content. So screensaver is working fine. Let's now use the TDUK screensaver manager to actually set this as the default screensaver on our Amazon device. Let's press the home key and let's now start the TDUK screensaver manager. Now we can see on the right hand side, it automatically does a scan of your device and tells you which screensavers it can find. I can now press the select button here. That's now selected. Now if I go to the left, just make sure that the screensaver status is set to enabled. Here we can set the timeout. So this is the timeout before your screensaver starts. And here we see the sleep timeout. So this is basically when your device goes to sleep or when the screen goes blank. So now that we've done that, I can click on save values, press that a few times just to make sure that's gone in. Now literally within one minute, this should now take over the screen. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag photos then i know you made it this far in the video which i always appreciate i'll then heart your comment and right on cue guys we've now started the screensaver and the first one is showing you is one of those three video files now by default this will go to the end of the video and then go on to the next thing but if you press right on the remote 
there we are so it's working absolutely fine and really a great way for you to share your personal photos your personal videos on the big screen so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching as i mentioned at the start of this video lots of you are asking for this process so do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks